In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to weave in the ends where you've joined in a new ball in a garment that's being knit in the round. So I've joined in the yarn underneath the, um, sort of directly underneath the arm, so it's not like right in the front or right in the back. Um, but I don't have a seam because it's a, um, a seamless garment. So that's where I would normally bury um, joining in a new ball, I'd bury the tails. But if I don't have that, um, this is the best that I can do to hide it. I'll join it um, underneath the arms and then I've got um, the location where one ball has finished and the other ball has started. So I'll start by weaving in um, one tail and I'll follow the path of where the other yarn has come out. Now I could follow the path over a number of stitches and that's duplicate stitch. But this yarn, this is Sanders Garn Lena. Um, it's knit at 20 stitches over four inches. And doing duplicate stitch on that, it would probably just be a little bit um, thick. Those stitches will look a little bit thicker and fatter than the others. So that's not really, you know, I, I want it to be as you know least visible as possible. So I won't be doing that. I'll just go along the path just to begin with. So I can see that the yarn's coming out of here and the next place where it goes, it would follow along here and come back down and follow that loop. But I'm just going to go through this pearl bump and then the next pearl bump so that I've connected the two. And then now I'll start weaving in the ends. And so what I'll do is I'll go just a cup along a couple of pearl bumps, just weaving along, just following the path of a pearl bump, so I'm not actually splitting the stitches yet. Just a couple of there. And then I'm going to start actually splitting the stitches. So, and I'll go along in one direction and then in the other. And by doing that, the yarn is actually less likely to pop out the other side and also be less visible. So I'm just going into these pearl bumps and actually skewering the yarn, like sort of piercing sort of the opposite of what you'd want to do when you were knitting. I'll just do a, a few, and you don't want to pull it too tight, just be gentle. So here, one more, sorry, there, and then, so I've gone sort of six pearl bumps along this way. So I want you to see that I'm not yanking that, I'm being very gentle because I don't want to compress those stitches. And then I'm going to go back in the other direction. About four, I, not even as far as I, so I went probably about an inch, inch and a bit to the left. And I'll go just under an inch to the right. And what I'll do is I'll actually leave, can you see this little loop here? I don't want to pull that too tight. I'll pull it just like that and then I'll stretch out the yarn and that sort of snugs it up naturally as I stretch out the, sorry, not stretch out the yarn, stretch out the fabric. And then I'm going to clip that. Let's grab some scissors. So I'm going to clip that and not too short a tail because I don't want that coming through on the other side. And I also haven't blocked it. So I'll, I might even trim it a little bit more after I've blocked it but that's enough and then it will sort of, if it, as I'm blocking it, it will pull in a little bit of slack. So that's the first one and I'll just show you on the other side. So there's nothing in there in the fabric that would indicate where that's been woven in. I sort of have to look at it. Where is it? Okay, it's around there. And then I'll do the same for the other tail and I'll go in the opposite direction. So I don't have like one big lump. And so this has gone left and up a little bit. This one will go right and down a little bit. So I'll thread my tapestry needle and just follow along a couple of pearl bumps. Just a couple, so I'm not splitting yet, just a couple away from the site. Then I'll split sort of along those pearl bumps in one direction, about five or six. You don't have to go crazy, right? Like it's, this is a, a linen cotton blend yarn, so I'm being a little bit, you know, I'm going a little bit perhaps further than I might have with 
wool um, because with wool it will felt down uh, that won't happen with a linen and cotton blend okay so again I'm going to leave like a bit of a loop there and then I'll so that's probably hasn't gone enough I'll go a little bit more and then pull out the fabric maybe a touch more there we go and I'll cut that with a bit of a tail and then I've, after I've blocked it um, I'll cut those tails off a little bit shorter and that's on the right side now because I haven't pulled and tugged to, I've kept that yarn quite slack it hasn't distorted the stitches and because I've gone into the skewer the pearl bumps which are sort of you know on this side but not you don't see it on the other side um, it hasn't distorted the stitches and it hasn't sort of and also with duplicate stitch if any if these stitches were like a double like a double thread of yarn you would really see a difference in the fabric whereas I think that's actually pretty invisible about as invisible as you're going to get in a cotton linen blended yarn of this gauge so I hope you found that helpful